Well, good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning. It's about 7.21 now, and we have uh, been dealing with some areas of fog this morning. You can see kind of a layer of fog off in the distance here. This is looking north of Hastings, north of the TV station, north of Hastings. A layer of fog above it. Skies are pretty clear out there this morning, but again, uh, some areas of dense fog. There's actually an advisory out, a dense fog advisory for Keith Lincoln Frontier and Hayes County in southwest Nebraska till 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, once that fog burns off, partly to mostly sunny skies for much of the day. Showers and thunderstorms then expected to fire are up towards the north. They'll try to advance south where the big question is how far south do they get. I think the farther north you go, the better chance you have. I kept a small chance in around the Tri-Cities later on tonight and then uh, after midnight the chances mostly shift out towards the western part of the state. Uh, for tomorrow, another warm day out there as temperatures push into the uh, mid and upper 80s again. A uh, slight chance of a shower thunderstorm during the day, but a better chance will come in tomorrow night as a cold front comes through. Watch how things uh, kind of progress heading into the evening hours. Strong to maybe some severe thunderstorms are a possibility. Pockets of heavy rainfall, hopefully in areas that really need that rain. And along with that, that cold front's going to bring a big cool down. A few lingering showers and storms possibly early on Thursday morning. Otherwise, the bigger story will be that cooler air and a pretty strong north breeze out there on th Thursday as well. That's really going to cool us back for the end of the week. There's a small risk of some severe weather later today into this evening off towards the north, central, northwestern part of the state. And then uh, the rest of the area has a small chance of some severe weather tomorrow into tomorrow night. Uh, not expecting a lot of severe weather, but certainly is a possibility. As for your temperatures, later on today, mid-80s up north, mostly sunny, a slight chance of thunderstorms late in the day up north. Early fog, then partly to mostly sunny out west, mid to upper 80s for highs. To the south, also early fog, then partly to mostly sunny with mid-80s. Maybe a little early or fog into the, to the parts of the east here, otherwise partly to mostly sunny temperatures into the mid-80s mid 80s again tomorrow these temperatures are pretty close to what we would expect this time of the year maybe a degree or two below average and then that cold front comes through cooling us back along with that again that good chance of rain towards wednesday evening and wednesday night lingering early into thursday most of your thursday through friday looking pretty quiet look at that friday morning dropping back into the lower 50s some will see 40s for overnight lows jacket weather for Friday morning. Heading into Friday night, late night especially, and into Saturday as well. A decent chance of showers and thunderstorms out there. Some Maybe some pockets of heavy rain once again. Still a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms Saturday night and into Sunday. So the weekend will stay a little on the cooler side, a little below average in the upper 70s. Dry conditions then for Monday with a high around 80 degrees. So again, big changes on the way down the road. Sorry, it's kind of a brisk forecast, a very quick forecast because I'm running out of time here, so I had to uh, go through that one pretty quickly. So if you have any questions about the upcoming forecasts over the next couple days, please feel free to leave comments out there for me and I'll, I'll try to answer those as best I can. But until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a great Tuesday and God bless.